And now let's start off with the, uh, where am I? Oh, I'm finishing the Hall of Computers. Let's start with computer technology. Now this has to do with uh, computer circuitry. Very, very old school computer circuitry. Circuitry is a lot different nowadays. You usually do not have a computer that only runs on one, two, three, four, five circuits. Now here's how the uh, computer circuits work. You want to get the numbers on the top to equal the numbers on the bottom. So zero, not zero, is one, so that's good. Zero or zero does not equal one. Zero or one equals one. Zero and zero equals zero. So there you go. That's how you do that. And let's see the next set of numbers. Okay, not zero is one. Zero or zero is zero. Zero and zero is zero. That's good. Oh no! I thought I switched that to zero. All right. And now for the third one. Not one is equal to zero. Zero or zero equals zero. And you need a one and one to equal one. You can't have a one and zero to equal one, I believe. And now we get to exit and find out what the next circuit is like. Now, this is a lot tougher. Alright, this is not that tough. Because the AND is a zero, so if I do a zero... Let's see what happens if I just do zero, zero. Hey, hey! Now we have zero, one. In order to get a one, I think you might have to do one, one. Let's see. Ah! Then let's try zero, one. Here we go. And zero, zero. As we just saw. Not too long ago. And here's the last one. Which, surprise, surprise, is another jigsaw puzzle. Ah, uh, the information superhighway. I haven't heard that term. I haven't heard anybody say the information superhighway since the late 90s, to be quite honest. I suppose it's not in vogue anymore. Alright, those need to be switched around right there. Alright, now since, because this has one, two, three, I think this is going to have to go one, two, three. And this is one or two. Right, and this one goes there. And now you just have to switch these around until they look good. There we go! Is it good? Hey, the computer says thank you. You're welcome, computer. And now that we've solved that one, we get to solve the uh, last exhibit in the history of computers. This one is a bit more interesting. It's 
This one actually has a little bit of a plot. It's that a robot has gone crazy. A robot has gone crazy, and it's taking parts from other robots to turn itself into a super robot! Robots are not intelligent in the same way humans are. Although they can perform complex tasks and do elaborate calculations, they cannot think. Today, computers are the ones that are in control of robots. Okay, so we need to fix the uh, Moonwalker, because the uh, rogue robot has destroyed the Moonwalker. Alright, there we go. Here we go. Uh-huh. Now, in case you can't tell, see the rogue robot, it's got the feet from the moonwalker. And here it's got one of the arms of the uh, car fixing machine. There we go. Mm hmm. All right, all right, all right. I want to see uh, what the car fixing machine is. This is a robot assembly arm. Mm hmm. Okay, so those work on assembly lines. Those are always very helpful. I'm not sure uh, exactly what machine this is supposed to be. I think it's supposed to be a laser cutter. Uh-oh. It's not good if a, a, uh, the uh, rogue robot is taking parts from a laser cutter. Don't you agree? Alright, now that looks like that goes here. That looks like it goes there. Alright, so now on to the last room, where the, uh... Ooh, that looks really dangerous. Where I believe we need to fix the submarine before grabbing that fire extinguisher. the help button and all it did was move the one piece. That's not very helpful. Now this goes on the side. I believe this goes here. There we go. Now we can't get close to the rogue robot, but we can grab the fire extinguisher. And I believe use the fire extinguisher on the robot. Now we take the top of the robot and put it where it belongs, on the submarine. Looks like the submarine is fixed, now on to the laser cutter. We take the uh, laser cutting part of the laser cutter and put it back on the laser cutter. There we go. Ooh, see, now that's what the laser cutter does. That's pretty cool. On to the next one, which I believe is the robotic arm. Well, it's pretty easy to see where this one has to go. Right there, and now we're going to uh, take the foot And we're going to put it in place on the moonwalker. Do, 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 do. Uh 
All right. Yeah, I wonder why our robot friend said absolutely nothing during the exhibit that deals exclusively with robots. That's kind of odd. 